here are some facts about the crow. The crow belongs to the Corvidae family, and to be polite, you can call one a Corvus brachyrhynchos, which sounds very sexy. When you see them in a group, they are called a murder, which is a very suitable name considering what happens to you if you piss one off. Crows are extremely intelligent animals capable of solving puzzles that some humans may not be able to solve. They are aware of water displacement and can manufacture and use tools to obtain food. They can remember things for years including what your face looks like. Try to look at one crow out of a murder for an hour. When you go back the next day, you will most likely not remember which crow you were looking at but they will remember you as the weird guy who was staring at them for an hour. Crows have a dialect they can use to speak to each other that is specific to their region. Imagine going to Japan and asking for directions. This is how a crow would feel if he got lost outside his region. Crows can also memorize garbage routes, figure out how high to fly to avoid shotgun pellets, and if one dies from a stupid mistake, the others learn from it. Crows also have been seen to drop nuts while flying to crack them. Since crows can remember things and communicate with each other, you better not piss one off or it will tell all its other crow friends. They will gather around a small campfire and tell stories about you. They will tell their children about what they faced with you. They will never forget and you will go down in crow history. Once you anger a crow, they will tell their friends and they will dive bomb after you and caw very angrily. The crow will also mob and dive bomb after other predators such as owls, hawks, and eagles. Simply stated, messing with a crow is like messing with a gang member. A crow is a monogamous bird, which means they typically breed for life. That's right, a crow may have a better love life than you do. A crow reaches sexual maturity after two years, but typically doesn't reproduce until after four. They are clearly waiting for that special someone and don't want to give up their virginity as quickly as you do. Crows participate in an activity called anting, where they squish ants and rub the squished ants all over their body like a perfume. They do not participate in anting to attract a special young lady on a night out though. They do this to try and fight off bugs and parasites. A crow will eat anything from insects and garbage to berries and human food. If you have a kid, you better hope their eating habits are like that of a crow's. Just remember, if you eat garbage and hold grudges, you may have a lot to talk about with a crow. Perhaps it can offer you relationship advice.